So anyways, I decided that I am going to, okay, I am back. I decided that I was going to go ahead on and record the video because when I was live streaming, YouTube, okay, YouTube did not want me to be able to speak on this subject matter. What I'm going to title this video, the video that I'm going to and determined to publish, their gods won. Your gods surrendered. Okay? Um, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about anyone who lives in a Western country, okay? Ran by these elites that are having a, you know, first of all, I need to explain this to you all. The war takes place, first of all, He's cutting grass and it's getting to my nose in the cosmos. And whatever happens up there, you will see the results here and in the underworld. Okay? The overworld is where the actual squabble takes place. And the effects of that echoes here on the planet. And that's where your gods surrender in the cosmos. Now that's what the video was supposed to be about. When YouTube would not allow anyone absolutely anyone everyone who wanted to watch that video was not able to watch it because they did not want anyone to see it hello because it's truth if it was not my video would stay up here just like all of the pussy popping videos the booty snapping videos all that other vulgarity that's on YouTube that they don't mind being here. The pornography. The death scenes. The gory scenes of people mangled in accidents. You can get this information from YouTube. But yet they don't want me to talk about. The war between all of the gods. And the cosmos. They're at war now. Because now this beast wants the whole entire dimension. As it continues to consume all the energies of the earth, like the trees and vegetation, every creepy crawly thing, everything that's in the water, Every mammal and reptilian and every flying thing. You and all of those you love. It's fat and it's full. And it's prepared to fight. Your God surrender. That's all I wanted to say. But you too would not allow, you too would not allow anyone to watch that. So now, when things like that happen, I got to research it now. I'm more interested in it because when I decided to do that video, don't tell me, well, you know they're going to have a problem with it. I never thought they would have a problem with anything like that. But if you say, well, you should know they, should have, they were going to have problems with the truth, then I'd be like, okay, it makes a lot of sense. It must be true. It must be true. No one could see the video because it buffered. 
it said I had zero people in my chat room. Matter of fact, that was that second startup. They and and, and 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 it was an hour video that they chopped down to just a few minutes. I'm gonna go back and see if they added all of it to it, but it looks like they cut the video out. So I'm going to take my time throughout the day or tomorrow throughout the week and the following week to continue to break down that message that I was talking about. Because you all need it. Y'all see that in and out? Y'all saw that? I'm going to keep talking about their God. It's not your God. That God does not serve your best interest. That God sees you as a servant and it sees you as food and energy. And it has a special place for you if you refuse to believe in it and you do not have your own protection. Your God, yourself, it's going to send you to the lake of its fire so that it can extract your energy to continue to serve the purpose of this matrix. That God ain't my God. I'll say it again and again. That's why I decided I'll just record the video and upload it. And I hope y'all get it. I hope you get this message because it's simple information. Do you know how this can change your life for the better? When you began to believe in yourself, I don't believe in the church. I believe in me. I believe in my church, my temple, me. Everyone should have their own temple and their own sanctuary. You are the God. You should be praising yours. You should not have to go outside of yourself to praise anything that don't look like you and represent you. I want you to know every single day how they feel, that God feels like this if you refuse to be his servant. If you refuse to obey the orders of its children, you will be condemned to damnation. And this is the reason why so many black people have surrendered. And I'm not only talking about black people, it could be white people too. White people, you got you a God. Black folks, you got you a God. Chinese people got a God. Asian people got a God. Latinos got a God. Everybody got a God. And it's the God in you. So I even say to you all, even talking to you white people, you got a God. They got a God. You got a God. But they want you to serve their God. They want you to be energy for their God. <laughs> it's just simple as that. That's the God that takes you to hell. To its chambers, its imprisonments, its incarceration because you have refused. To obey its children. That's why people say, I'm a child of God. You're a child of what God? You're a child of their God? No, you're not. If you're praising their God in the church, that God does not consider you its child. It's only going to be loyal to them. Ever since I've been on this subject, I mean, YouTube have just been giving me a difficult time. And I see people talking about a variety of things and they don't go through this. And then they had a problem with me saying that I'm the Messiah. And I am the Messiah. I am the Messiah. And when I say I'm the Messiah, people will look crazy. A black woman, dark skin with nappy hair is a Messiah. There are many Messiahs. Messiahs are saviors. There's not one savior and that's Jesus. When are we going to wake up? Everybody think that Jesus, the blonde haired guy 
with the blunt with the blue eyes and the white skin is the only savior no you can have a messiah who comes to save the wildlife you can have a messiah that comes to save the children that are abused you can have a messiah that saves the vegetation on the earth that protects the waters the ocean and everything living in it when are we gonna wake up? What's wrong with this place? I am the Messiah for truth. When it comes to letting people know you have a God and the God is in you. A Messiah is anyone who spreads the truth. You can be a Messiah. Do you have a mission? Do you have truth you want to bring about? You are a messiah. I'm not with the beehive thinking, so y'all need to just go away if you think you're going to get me to adapt to that. It didn't work in grade school. It didn't work in the church. And it's gonna, that's not going to work now. Let's get real. See, the problem is not the message. The problem is the messenger. They want to choose who's going to bring this message to the masses and they don't want it to be me a black woman with a southern drawl and nappy hair that's not sophisticated no we want to choose we want a mulatto if it's got to be black or we want you see what i'm saying and that's another thing i want to talk about you know how they try to find someone they can identify with Okay, to give the message. We want to choose somebody with straight hair. We want to choose someone uh, that got fair skin. We want to choose someone with, see, this is the problem. The messenger, the messenger can come in any kind of package. It can be a heavy set black woman. She might be light. She might be medium. She may be dark, she may be foul, she may have straight hair, she may have, she may, you see what I'm saying? She could be a woman, she could be a man, it could be a child. You don't get a chance to choose. The divine cosmos has chosen me. And everything I say, the people in this sector, they're going to reverberate it over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. Um, they even had the nerves to send in a troll that's working with them. As everybody who is my supporter could not watch the video, a troll came in and it, you know it had something to do with YouTube. And said, oh, I got this in my suggestions. Are you all having a good time? I thought that was very interesting. My subscribers couldn't see the video. But this person came in and could see it. So we had to block and delete them. And after I blocked and delete them, my video was gone. And our video was disseminated to seven minutes. Now I'm going to go back and see if they you know, allow the rest of the footage to be on there. But that, it, it was almost an hour. <laughs> when I watched it, was, it watched it, it was seven minutes. We had a good time last night because we were talking about, you know, the rain is fake. I took everybody to the paper mill. I also talked about that in the video before they just chopped it and had, chopped it and screwed it and did what they wanted. Um, I talked, we talked about how, like last night I went to a paper mill and I mean masses of clouds was coming from the stacks. And those clouds were like covering even the outskirts of that particular city. And I was telling people, this is how rain is produced. This is what cools it down. This is what shields the sun from us so it can cool off. I thought it was interesting to be able to talk about that and see it and witness it and have trouble today. It's very interesting. 
there will be some people who are going to debunk it and say, no, this is this does not affect the weather. This is not where rain comes from. This does not cool at all. But I want you all to use your common sense. Anything that produces clouds, whether they be good clouds, dirty clouds, you, you this the byproducts of whatever they're doing in that plant, you don't think it has any effects on our atmosphere? If you think it has no effects on the atmosphere, on the atmosphere, or if it does not affect anything, tell me your logic. Explain to me how a byproduct does not affect something. For every action, there is a reaction. The action of those byproducts of those clouds is going to produce something. Let's talk about it. See, that's another problem they have. Like I was I was explaining about these particular white people that run YouTube. I was I, I was letting everybody know not all white people are like this. I call these caucasoids that run YouTube. That are very unfair. Not all white people are like this. But these are the same people that are the underwriters that decide whether or not you're going to get a car, you're going to get the loan, you're going to get the mortgage. They decide your interest rate. And they make black people pay higher interest rates. And black people are more likely to be turned down for these loans than white people or people of other races. It's the truth. Can we talk about it? Are we going to be able to talk about this? But not all white people are like this. Sometimes it's your own black people. That's why I said all kin, skin folks and kin folks, they will do it too. Come on, Ken, let's just talk about this. This is who is trying to, this, this is the person or the people who are disturbing my life stream. And I got a problem with that. And it's not going to stop anything. I'm not going to compromise so we can get along because uh, people want this material. They're not flagging it. They want it. I'm going to keep on talking about it. If these little girls walking around with their underwears on, dancing, it's not bothering anybody and all of this gory stuff that y'all allow on YouTube. I mean, some gory stuff on YouTube. People are mangled up in car accidents. YouTube allows it. It's on here. Look it up for yourself. You'll see it. Child pornography on YouTube. They allow it. You can get naked on YouTube and dance. They allow it. There is pornography on YouTube. They allow it. But they don't want you all to watch my videos all kind of foolishness people fighting street fights that's not harmful but my message is harmful why because they say oh she's a cuckoo and she's misleading people these fights amongst children is also misleading people little children walking around naked child pornography is misleading people but you ain't got no problem with that do you youtube but anyways I'm not going to waste too much time because I ain't doing it, but coming back, I'm not. I'm coming back. We're not going to serve the patriarchal God. Get over it. And I'm. A, and everywhere I walk, I create a carbon copy of myself so people are going to follow suit. Whatever I do, they're going to do it. Even if I do it in silence. I'm a silent leader. So nothing is going to change. But there will be changes for the masses. What you see going on all over the globe, like in Tanzania and South Africa, that's happening in the cosmos right now. It's infectious. It's going to happen all over the globe. That has nothing to do with me. It all has all to do with your gods. And I have protection from your God. I have my own God. 
See, you can't denounce their God and not have a God that's watching over you. That's dangerous. A lot of people go to the lake of fire or condemned to hell by the patriarchal elitist God because they have denounced that God and do not have a God of protection. Make sure you know what you're doing when you're playing this game. Okay? So anyways, if you haven't already, could you please rate and subscribe. Look and see if your notification bell is clicked. Click the notification bell. Come out daily. Look for my material. Because they're going to try to hide it. They want me to go away. Zoom. I say zoom. It's for a purpose. Zoom actually takes the message everywhere. All the way to the cosmos and into the great dark abyss. Zoom.